All right, guys, this is HP ProBook 450G3 model. And today we're going to enable the USB boot in EVFI format. So if you would like to install Windows 10 or 11 in EVFI format, then you should have the correct bootable Windows 10 or 11 thumb drive in EVFI based. If you don't know how to create one, you can check the video link would be in the description. Once it connected, on the other side, you must need to connect your charger. Otherwise, if the power system interrupt, it's gonna destroy the whole system and you have to start from the zero. Once you turn on the power switch, keep pressing escape. Once you press the escape button, you're gonna see the startup menu. And in the startup menu, it's gonna tell every single thing about the boot list, the BIOS setup, and almost everything and it's going to tell you which button takes you where. So if we press F10, it's going to take us directly to the BIOS option, as you can see. So BIOS option, there are a few options, as you can see the main security advanced boot and EVFI driver. Okay, we connected our uh, USB already. And in the main section, there is nothing to do. This is all about your uh, machine details and stuff like that. So we're going to press the right arrow to get into security because from this security section, we're going to turn on the TPM. But this is TPM 1.2 version. By the way, this machine wouldn't help you if you would like to install Windows 11 because this is only 1.2. Anyway, now we're going to get into advanced option. Okay, the middle one. And from here, there are a couple of options that we might need to work with. The first of all, we need to check the boot option. And from the boot options, we're gonna find this is either selected in legacy or UEFI. If this is in already UEFI, then we don't have to change anything. As you can see, it says UEFI uh, checked on it. So that's mean we have nothing to do. Okay, that's all fine. Okay, but if it doesn't, if it shows something else, I mean legacy, then what we have to do, by the way, we need to turn on the USB storage boot from here. As you can see, this is ticked already. So now let's go back. And if your one selected into legacy, then you have to go to that option, security boot configuration, and change it to UEFI, which already we've done it. Now there is almost everything. We don't need to worry about it. What are you gonna do? We're gonna save the changes and then we'll restart the system and we'll try to come back to temporary boot menu okay so let's save it by pressing f10 and then say yes and while the system restart again keep pressing esc button which is on the left top all right try a couple of times okay from here, either we're going to press F9 or we're going to get into boot menu. Hit enter. Once we hit enter, then we're going to see uh, our correct boot in the list, which is USB disk 2.0. As soon as you know, hit enter, it's going to take us directly to the Windows logo. And it's going to take like a couple of minutes. I don't know why. Might be my USB stick is non-branded and is very slow that's why so from here as you can see it takes a lot of time and this is quite straightforward okay if you would like to install any fresh windows system then you might have to delete the partition and when you delete the partition you're going to lose all the existing data so make sure you do have the backup before you proceed into that point all right on the meantime i'm going to highlighted those options again. So the difference between legacy and UEFI based on two settings, the security boot when it's enabled, it gives you privilege to enable the UEFI. When the secure boot option is disabled, that's been legacy is already enabled. And if there is any, any TPM settings, then keep it enabled or available or turn on if you would like to install in EVFI because that would help. All right, 
and if you just want a legacy then keep the secure boot off if you like TPM also you can turn it off pretty much that's all you know and based on those settings all the Windows laptop BIOS has different different names on it you know by the way uh, pretty much that's all as you can see it's all going good and I just fast forwarded the video just to make it shorter and I'm going to show you until end of this video to show you the Windows has been installed successfully without any errors because we had the right setup into BIOS anyway and still if you do have any question regarding this model please feel free to leave it in the comment section also another video is coming how to replace the keyboard for this model which is G450 ProBook G3 all right so that's all for today guys and please do like and subscribe if you feel this video is helpful as you can see in my channel I do have a lot of comments and most of the viewers they are quite happy but they forgot to subscribe or might be it's not good enough anyway I'll leave the consideration on your hand and I hope I'll see you in the next one thanks for watching bye for now